Health Break is brought to you by Rex Healthcare, chosen for excellence. While atrial fibrillation is common and in itself non-life-threatening, it can lead to dangerous consequences. Cardiologist Dr. Sam Mubarak describes those dangers and the treatment. These particular group of people are considered a high risk of a stroke and they need to be put on a blood thinner. Once the risk of stroke is decreased, doctors can focus on correcting the abnormal heart rhythm to alleviate the symptoms of fatigue or palpitations. In elderly people have to slow their rate and keep them, put them in coumadin to prevent them from stroke. And we have a host of anti-rhythm medication that we can choose from. For younger patients, doctors might be more aggressive with what is called radio frequency ablation. It involves putting catheters uh, through both groins into the heart to cauterize, if you will, certain part of the atrium. This treatment can often result in a permanent cure for atrial fibrillation, allowing the patient a better quality of life with no symptoms. Once this atrial fibrillation presumably is cured, you, a person, can get off the drugs, including uh, antirhythm medications and maybe even the Coumadin. To check your own risk for heart disease, take the free online heart aware assessment at rexhealth.com and just click heart aware on the right side of the screen. I'm Melody Hunter Pillion with Health Break. Health Break was brought to you by Rex Healthcare.